Today in the joy of editing, we're jumping into Topaz Gigapixel and putting the redefined realistic model to work in some AI art Christmas images. I'll show you how this model can clean up your AI generated shots, add detail, and give you a polished high resolution result that actually looks believable. Stick around to see the before and afters, and I'll also fill you in on a great Topaz deal you can take advantage of. Links will be in the description. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Lately I've been feeling really nostalgic about Christmas so I decided to jump into the new Nano Banana Pro and see if I could create some cozy Christmas art to turn into prints for my wall this holiday season. I've got a few of those images loaded up here in Topaz Gigapixel and we're going to use the redefined realistic model to upscale them, clean up the details and make them print ready. Gigapixel was open and ready to go so let's start with this first image and we'll check out the redefined realistic beta model and see how well it can do. Now if you look down to the bottom of the interface here you can see the original size of this image is 2528 by 1696 pixels. I'm going to upscale it two times, which will bring it up to 5056 by 3392, which will make a decent sized print for my wall. I'm using redefined beta. Now, if you hover over this area right here, you can see all the different models in here. Now, up in this area, these are your standard models, and down here are your generative models, where they're going to do more AI interpretation and redefine the images for you. And I found for AI art type images, Redefined Realistic Beta is really good, and we're going to check that out right now. If you have the latest version of Gigapixel, you can even render your images in the cloud and batch process them as well. It's a great time saver, and if you're working on an older computer, you're really going to appreciate how much smoother this makes the whole workflow. Now notice we have two different choices, none and subtle. None basically says just upscale the image and keep it the way it is so it cleans things up without really changing the look. Subtle lets Gigapixel step in a little more and gently add extra realistic detail and fix some of the AI mushiness. It can also use a short image description to nudge the result in the direction you want. And also note, you also have face recovery here that you can turn on, which really helps out on the faces of the image. So if you have faces in your painting or whatever type of uh, AI art you're doing or any type of photograph or whatever, face recovery really works well and I highly recommend it. Now for this image, I'm just going to click none. I don't really want any extra special creativity on the image. I'm going to have face recovery on. I'm using Generation 2, there's Generation 1 and 2. I think Generation 2 is the better one to use. And now there's also a mode here you can use Realistic or Creative. I'm using Realistic and then you can adjust the strength of the amount of face recovery and I'm leaving mine at 100% for these images. Now I'll be batch processing four images in the cloud and I'll show you my final results. but. I want you to notice something. You see right here, preview controls, small, medium, or large. What you can do here is get a sample of what kind of result you're going to get. For instance, if you hover over any area of the image and give it a click, you can see what kind of a render you're going to get. So it's a good thing to do this just to check it out and test it out and see what it'll do for you. Now this takes a little bit of time to do depending on how old your computer is. You can forgo this step if you want to, but I'm going to let this one run in real time just so you can see what it's doing. And it's almost done. And here is the result. Now, if I hold down my space bar, if you look in this area of the man's face, here's before and here's after. Again, before and after. So I think that's going to be good. So I'm set up for none. I have face recovery on. I have to pick an upscale size you could do 1x, 2x, up to 6x. I'm going to upscale two times, which will give me a 5056 by 3392 pixel image. So click on 2x. And I will be batch processing. So now I can move on to my next image and get it set up. Now, right now, by default, it zooms in at 100%. If you want to fit it to screen, just click right here and click fit. And then what I would do is hover over any part of the image and give it a click and see what kind of result we get. I'm not going to bore you with all that. Let's do one more. 
Let's uh, click and hover over this boy's face. This time, I'll make a medium size. I won't make you wait the whole time, but let me click this. And here's the result. I'll hold down the space bar. This is before and this is after. See that extra detail and sharpness again before and after. Now let's make sure everything is set up. I have faces. Face recovery is on. I'm using Gen 2 Realistic. I'm going to take my strength up to 100%. I'm using none for creativity, and I'm set for 2x. Now we can go to the next image. And again, if you want to see full size, just click fit. This one, I'm using a subtle creativity. So let me go ahead, and this time I'll make this large. And I'll click right here, and we'll see the result. This will add a little bit of creativity. I'll hold down my space bar. This is before, and now this is after. Again, I'll hold down my space bar before. And after, as you can see, it has added some extra details in there. Very subtle, but very nice. I have face recovery turned off, no faces. I've set it up for subtle, and I'm upscaling two times. And now let's click on my last image and get it set up. I really like this image. You know, I was going for that Norman Rockwell look and all of these different images here. And I really like the way Nano Banana Pro did this one a lot. This is a really fun image. Now I set it up for 2x upscale, creativity none. I have face recovery turned on, Gen 2. And this time, instead of realistic, I'm using creative and strength at 100%. And usually what I do, if I have a bunch of the same type of images going in, I'll check it on one. And if it looks good, I'll assume it's going to be good for all the others. So this is not a requirement. You don't have to do a preview if you don't want to. For batch processing, just check on each one of the images you want to batch process. And I believe you can batch process up to 100 images at a time in the cloud. And then notice here for cloud render, it says it's going to take 9 minutes and 56 seconds approximately to batch process all four of these images. And I have four images selected. And now all I need to do is click on Cloud Render. And if we look over here, it says Cloud Q4. If I click on that, and if you look here, you can see here are my images. They're queuing up right now. I'm just going to click the X here. And what I'm going to do next is tell you about the special Black Friday holiday savings over at Topaz. And then after that, I'll show you my final results. Topaz are having their Black Friday sale right now, running through December 3rd, 2025. So if you've been thinking about Gigapixel or Topaz Studio, where you get all the apps, this is the best time to grab it. If you're interested in checking out Topaz Gigapixel or any of the Topaz apps, I've got affiliate links down in the video description. If you use those links, I do earn a small commission at no extra cost to you, and that really helps to support the channel and lets me keep bringing you more tutorials like this. So if you decide to pick something up during the Black Friday sale, I truly appreciate you using those links. And now let's look at those results. All we need to do is come to the left side of the interface and click on Cloud Q. Now these top four images are the ones that I just batch processed. And it actually didn't take the full nine minutes for me, so it was pretty good. And you'll note that they are downloaded, so they're downloaded to your designated download folder. And if you click right here... And for instance, if I hold down my spacebar on a Mac, I can see there's that image right there. But let me show you something that is really cool. So rest assured, they are downloaded into your downloads folder. See right here where it says AB? When you click on this, it takes you over to a website where you can see a before and after. And they give you different ways of seeing the before and after. The image on the left is before, the image on the right is after. Now you can zoom in and really look at all the details and scroll around and see like look on the left, you can see this is a little bit soft. This is a lot sharper and it looks really good. And the faces look really awesome. The dog and the turkey, it's making me hungry. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, or you could click here and do like a split screen view. So that's nice. Or you can do what they call a peak view if you click on this. And if you left click your mouse, you can see right now you're seeing before left click, you'll see the after. So again, before and after. So that's pretty cool. Let's click AB for this image, the cookie image. My wife loves this one. She definitely wants this one hanging up. She loves to make her Christmas cookies. So we can go ahead and zoom in. The one on the right is the after, the one on the left is before. And this is the one where I use creative. So it took a little bit more artistic license on this one. And it did a really good job. 
Oh, and up here you can also click reset if you want to, to go back to the side-by-side -side view. And now let's click AB on the third image. And to zoom in, I'm just using the scroll wheel on my mouse. I'm just going to zoom in here. So look at that. The image on the right is upscaled using the none setting. The image on the left is the original look. Look how soft it looks compared to the image on the right. Let's look at this boy down here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Left before, right after. Again, we can click reset to go back to a side-by-side -side view. And let's click on the peak view button. So here's the entire image. I'll left click with my mouse and you'll see the after. Release the click, here's before and here's after. And now let's check out the last image. I'll click the A and B on this one. The before image is on the left, the after is on the right. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Again, I'm just using my scroll wheel to zoom in. So look at the detail around the light. Look over here, it looks really soft. Everything looks really nice on this image. Let's go over here and look at the boy. It's really done a marvelous job in this. So for this kind of stuff, like AI art images, I really like the redefined realistic model. Right now it's in beta, so what's it gonna be like once it comes out of beta? Right now it's pretty darn good. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial looking at Redefine Realistic and Topaz Gigapixels, a great model for AI-generated images, any type of art images or regular images as well that just need a little bit of help. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.